Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We are going to show you how to perform the perfect golf swing. This is the full golf swing as it should look from start to finish. Step 1 Position yourself in line with the flag. Once you have put your ball on the tee, find a nearby leaf, small stone or broken tee and place it in a direct line between the flag you are aiming for and your ball. Use these two reference points to position your club on the ground. Now stand with your body parallel to this line. You are correctly orientated to begin the perfect golf swing. Step 2 Grip your left hand correctly. Put your club naturally on the ground behind the ball and place it in the left hand so that the shaft lies across the top of the forefinger. It should fit under the heel of the palm to make space for the stability of the club. Let's see that position again from another angle. Make sure that the thumb is straight on top of the shaft with a natural grip. It should not be stretched out as this makes it harder for the other hand to join the grip. Tip When your left hand is correctly positioned on the club, you should be able to see two knuckles of your hand. You will then have the correct angle. This side view shows that position of the left hand clearly. Step 3. Grip your right hand correctly. With your right arm hanging naturally, shake hands with the club and settle into the grip. Fold your right hand over the left thumb. This is a finger grip, the two middle fingers applying most of the pressure, not the palm. The V of the right hand on the club should be pointing to the right shoulder. Finally, let's see those two hand grips together. Step 4 Grip the back of the club correctly. There are three different ways to grip the back of a golf club. This is called the Varden or overlapping grip and is by far the most common method used in golf. Place the little finger of the right hand between the index finger and middle finger of the left hand. This is the overlapping grip where you lock together the right little finger and the left index finger. Although this grip is not commonly adopted by golfers, it is still used to devastating effect by pros such as Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. Finally, this is called the baseball grip and is used mainly by women with small hands and children in order to get all the fingers around the club. Step 5. Adopt the correct stance. The proper stance will allow perfect balance and poise throughout the swing. To start, the feet should be apart at the same width of the shoulders for a mid-iron shot. The feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders should all be parallel to the target. The right foot should be placed straight forward from the body at a right angle to the line of flight so that when you swing the weight will come on the inside of the foot to be able to push away and do the follow through. The left foot is slightly open as this makes it easier for the body to follow through the golf swing. Don't turn it out too far though as this will cause imbalance and you won't be able to get enough turn going back as your knee will get in the way. Seen in profile the upper torso should lean forward slightly from the waist and the knees slightly bend to allow flexibility. 
there should be roughly a hand's width between your body and the club. The weight of the body should be on the balls of the feet. If it is on the heels, then you will be swinging around your body which could result in a disastrous hook. Addressing the ball, the left arm should be fully extended and the right arm slightly bent so that the right shoulder is gently dipped to loosen it for the swing. Tip. To ensure that your shoulders are in the correct position, first place the club in the center of your chest and lean forward from the waist. Now, dip your right shoulder slightly until the club touches the inside of your left leg. This is the correct shoulder position. Step 6. Carry out the waggle. Before the actual start of the swing, there is the waggle. This movement is an important part of the swing as it will ensure that your weight is evenly distributed on the feet. Everyone has their own way of using the waggle. Most importantly, it will relax your body in anticipation of the actual shot. Step 7. Perform the final swing. Now we have the correct orientation, grip and stance, we are ready to finally perform the swing. The back swing starts with rotation, not with the hands. The action of the arms starts with the rotation of the body, the hands maintaining a firm grip throughout. Tip. Practice this rotation movement by holding a club across either the front or back of the shoulders in the setup position. Rotate the whole body, belly and all, to the right and left as if in a swing. Note that the back still stays in the correct angle. On impact, the hips are turned with the shoulders parallel to the ball. The movement continues until the whole body is facing the target. The motion should be unbroken from the start of the downswing to the finish of the follow-through. The only time that your right foot will move will be immediately after impact. Otherwise you won't be able to swing through. Your body should be relaxed throughout. Remember, it is a swing and not a hit. More power comes from faster rotation. The hips should lead the shoulders all the way through until the end of the swing. And that is how to perform the perfect golf swing. The Video Jug Way.